listening. So that contested race, which is yep. the one that I'm worried about, how'd we do? What happened? All right. Well, based on my math, which is, you know, 50-50. No, we know your math, yes. Uh, Amanda Fargiano, her t- she uh, had the most votes with 584 total. And, of course, these are unofficial results. Uh, And Meg Tyler had the second most with 486. So Amanda Fargiano, Meg Tyler will be back on the school committee. And Jared Prey, he had 325. And I would say that's a pretty great result for a first-time candidate. Absolutely, especially with only 10% of the town showing up. And even if you run lose, there's nothing to be ashamed of. I mean, just you're making a great effort to serve the community, and it's an honorable thing. So There's uh, tons of other volunteer positions out there. Right. So... Again, uh, Amanda Fargiano, 584, Meg Tyler, 486, Jared Prey, 325. Congratulations to all three candidates on a very well-ran race. And uh, all the questions, Tom, it sounded like it was all in the yes? Yes, they are all approved. Question one, uh, yes, 529, no, 243. Question two, yes, 610. No, 160. Question three, yes, 613. No, 159. And question four, yes, 589. No, 181. Wow. So all four questions uh, have passed town election. So, so no, Bob, you've been here for a few years. Is this uh, how you expected it to go today when you voted? Uh, yeah, I thought it was pretty good. I I really appreciate the fact that it was smooth sailing coming in getting through getting out as opposed to the last election where it was a little more complicated i mean everybody was wearing masks and there wasn't really a big uh, confusion about what to do or how to do it but it was smooth but i'd like to point out and i know you guys have touched on this in the past that uh, uh, for example mr prey that uh, even though he didn't win his election all of these committees all of these uh, boards are open to the public. Their meetings are open. If you want to run for office, if you want to see what goes on, even if you have run and you still want to make an impact on that board or that committee, you can attend those meetings in public or you can watch them on HCAM. There's a little plug for HCAM, but that keeps you in the know. And it also reminds you of what the important things are for going forward for the next election or for our post you might want to run for in the future. Right. And you can always look at uh, hcam.tv. We uh, constantly have the listing of open volunteer positions. There's plenty of other boards out there other than these elected ones that you can volunteer on. Get yourself on a board and that's how you move up. I mean, because let me tell you something. You know, you look at these candidates that were there. They just didn't jump into something uh, and get themselves elected. They usually work their way up, just like anybody else. It's it's a process. And they are all unpaid volunteers, which is amazing. And I'm so glad that people do step up for these things. And, and seeing a contested race is great. There's nothing like it. That means more people to do the job that need it. And that's awesome. It's awesome. And, and that's what Hopkins is famous for, is the volunteerism. Absolutely. And I think we have some of the uh, best volunteers in the state, maybe even the world uh, here in Hopkinton. <laughs> so it was a great town election. We'll get those results posted on our website, hcam.tv, as well as our social media. And then once uh, uh, Connor sends the full uh, unofficial results, we'll get those posted as well. But we'll get the uh, contested stuff posted tonight for you.